Today I'm talking Humonchus contortus, aka Barber's pole worm in sheep. A really sinister parasite and a tricky one to pick up and manage as well. The reason it's called a Barber's pole worm is that when it's full of blood, it resembles a Barber's pole, so that red pole with the white spiral around it, okay? And that's the key point about this worm, it's a blood sucker. It doesn't cause the common scour symptoms that we know from our, you know, our Ostertasia, our Telodorsasia, our typical stomach and gut worms. First symptom that we commonly see with these worms is when they're moving animals that can be, you know, in good condition, that some of them just keel over. That worm has removed so much red blood cells from their system that they've gone anemic. So one of the main ways of diagnosing an infection of Barber's pole worms is to look at our gum, to look at the conjunctivae behind our eyes and see whether they've gone pink. That's a sign that a lot of the red blood cells have been sucked out of the system. Not a good worm at overwintering, but very prolific when the season starts. They can multiply into big numbers on our pastures very, very quickly. So it's worth noting that this worm can affect adult animals too. So in a good infection of these worms, you could have around 5,000 adults. Each adult is removing 0.05 of a mill of blood from the system a day. So that's a quarter of a litre a day our sheep will be losing in a good infection of these worms. So if we let a barber's pole population persist inside an animal, we'll get that big swelling underneath the jaw or that bottle jaw. And because of that, we often mistake hemonchus infection for a chronic liver fluke infection as well, because that'll be seen as the main, one of the main symptoms of a liver fluke, that oedema.